Hey guys, Jeremy here with The Hockey Movement with my buddy Eric and in this video we're showing you how you can set up a backyard hockey rink so you can have unlimited hockey playing awesomeness in your very own backyard. We're going to show you how to set it up, the material you need and uh, basically get you all prepared to play some hockey in your own backyard. Let's get right to it. Alright, before we get started, just want to make sure everything is in place so you can have a nice backyard rink. Number one, you need temperature that's consistently below zero. So sorry, Florida, California, backyard rink isn't for you. Although you can get synthetic ice, uh, I'll throw a link down there if you want to check that out. Number two, your yard needs to be level. So if your yard looks like this, chances are you won't be able to put a backyard rink in it. Number three, you need access to water. If you're close to a river or a pond, that's awesome. You can use your hose. If you're on town water, your water bill is going to be a little bit high. Uh, if you're on a well, you'll probably drain it. You can also have water brought in, uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's just an extra expense if you don't have access to free water. Number four, you need materials to actually build the rink. What type of materials? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go take a look. To have a consistent backyard rink, you basically need three things. Boards, brackets, and a liner. When you're building a backyard rink, you have a few options for the materials you're going to use and how you're going to set it up. Uh, so the best option is if you live really, really far north, you don't even really need any material. You just wait for the snow to fly, you pack it down, you spray it with some water, and you got yourself a base. Unfortunately, in most climates, that's not too good because you get a little bit of uh, melt, uh, you some warmer temperature, and you lose everything. So for the most consistent rink, you basically want to build an above ground pool. I'll show you all the materials you need to do that. If you're pretty handy, you can do it on a pretty cost effective budget. And if you want to go all out, there's some awesome materials that you can use from different backyard rink companies. I'm just going to quickly give you some more details on the materials that you need. Uh, so there's a wide array of different materials you can use, anywhere from do it yourself all the way up from buying the materials from backyard rink companies. There's a lot of different backyard rink companies that you can choose from, but there are two that advertise on my website. So those are the ones that I'll mention in this video. Let's talk about the boards first. For your boards, there's a number of different options. You typically want about 12 inches of height because you need at least two inches of solid ice. So if you have a fairly level yard, 12 inches should do it for you. You can use two by lumber. Uh, also, you can use pressure treated plywood, or if you want to go all out, you can go to a nice rink and get some of these sweet boards, which we will be using for this rink. So those are your options for boards when you're building a backyard rink. When it comes to brackets, you have a few options. So you can build it yourself with a two by four, or you can use some of the pre-made brackets. So this one is from nice rink. It's plastic, heavy duty, nice and sturdy. These spikes here, they stab into the ground. So this is gonna resist a lot of weight. This is really good if you want a heavy duty, sturdy bracket. It also has an option right here where you can put a rebar in to give it even more support. And uh, this spot right here is where the wood slots in so it holds the boards really well. This is another bracket option here. This one's from Iron Sleek. This is a steel frame, so pretty heavy duty. Uh, this part right here, it goes into the ground and then this is gonna sit flush on the ground. So there wouldn't be a tripping hazard or anything there. Uh, also, there's a bunch of holes in the bracket. This is where your plywood is gonna go and you can screw the, right into the plywood. So that's a pretty good option right there. Also, it's nice and streamlined so it folds up when you want to store it away. Pretty easy to store, it doesn't take up much room in your garage. When you're looking for a liner, you have a lot of different options. Uh, remember, you want a really good quality one. So this one is from Nice Rink. They are a plastics manufacturing company first, so they have really good quality liners. If you want to check them out, I'll throw a link down there in the video description. All right, guys, we covered what you need to build a backyard rink, some of the materials, some of your options, and where you can find them. Also, what your yard should look like. So if you know that you can put a backyard rink in your yard and you're ready to start building, check out this link right here, and we'll give you a step-by-step -step on how to build your rink.